The Perseverance landing was a remarkable achievement, utilizing terrain relative navigation technology and collecting important data during the process. This technology, combined with input from the craft's cameras, enabled the landing zone to be pinpointed to within just a few meters. The mission also deployed three types of sensors to collect data on temperatures and pressure during entry and landing. One significant finding was that all of the thermocouples survived the landing, suggesting minimal heat shield damage. This discovery has important implications for future landers, as thinner heat shields could be used to save weight. Overall, the Perseverance mission made great strides in space exploration, with innovative technology and sensor deployment paving the way for more efficient and cost-effective missions. These achievements will undoubtedly inspire future exploration and help us to better understand our solar system. Perseverance Supercam The Perseverance Supercam is an incredible device that uses a pinpoint laser to target specific rocks on Mars from up to 7 meters away. When the laser hits the rock, it creates a brief cloud of plasma made up of free-floating ions and electrons. This process provides valuable scientific data to researchers, helping them to better understand the composition of Martian rocks. It's a fascinating technology that allows us to explore the red planet in ways that were once unimaginable. Detected Hydrogen Atoms Recent discoveries from the Jezero crater on Mars have the scientific community buzzing. The Perseverance rover has detected hydrogen atoms linked to carbon atoms, a crucial element for life and potential evidence of biological activity. Even more exciting, the organic molecules found in the crater sediment are intertwined with sulfates. On Earth, sulfate deposits often contain signs of life and preserve organic matter. While the molecules on Mars may have formed naturally, scientists are eager to bring back samples for further analysis. With each new discovery, the possibility of life on Mars becomes more tantalizing. The search continues, and the scientific community eagerly awaits the next breakthrough. Tremors Scientists have recently conducted groundbreaking research that has uncovered new insights into the geological activity of Mars. The slopes of Martian volcanoes are teeming with landslides and debris flows but the discovery of over 4,500 rock traces shaped like Christmas trees has caught the attention of scientists. These patterns, which are typical of severe earthquakes, span a total length of 900 kilometers, with the longest trace measuring over 2.4 kilometers. More than one third of these traces were not visible in images captured prior to 2006, indicating their recent formation. These findings highlight the existence of powerful underground tremors on Mars, which have previously been unknown, and other new perspectives on the planet's geological makeup. These discoveries are only the beginning. The recent discovery of living microbes in one Martian crater has shocked the scientific community, raising the prospect of extraterrestrial life. Moreover, scientists have uncovered evidence suggesting that carbon dioxide, one of Earth's most dangerous gases, may serve as a vital resource for future Martian colonies. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the Red Planet, we look forward to discovering even more exciting revelations. Magnitude Earthquake Every year, seismometers detect up to 1 million earthquakes, but on Mars, the vibrations are weaker, with the strongest recorded at 4.2 magnitude in August 2021. However, in May 2022, a Mars quake measuring 5 on the Richter scale occurred, a significant event for the planet. Though the quake would only cause minor damage on Earth, it was noteworthy for Mars. Seismic activity on Mars continues to fascinate scientists and provides valuable insights into the planet's geological history. Movements and Magma Mars may not be as active as Earth, but recent five-point tremors indicate that tectonic processes are ongoing deep beneath its surface. While not as strong as earthquakes on Earth, these tremors reveal that Mars is still an active and dynamic planet. Two rocks Perseverance's cutting-edge technology is unlocking the secrets of Mars, with its onboard spectrograph allowing scientists to identify the chemical composition of rocks on the Red Planet. Among the most intriguing specimens are Mars and Yigo, two rocks whose Navajo names were coined by NASA engineer Aaron Yazi, a proud member of the Navajo Nation. These basalt-like rocks may have originated from a volcano, but they bear traces of a watery environment that shaped them into their current form. This discovery challenges our preconceptions about Mars as a dry and barren world and offers new insights into the planet's past. 
harbour seal. Perseverance's keen eye has also captured a striking rock nicknamed the harbour seal. NASA scientists believe this smooth and dark rock was sculpted by the powerful northwesterly winds to resemble the playful marine carnivore. The discovery reinforces existing weather models of Mars's atmosphere, providing a valuable data point for researchers. And let's be honest, it's also undeniably adorable. Organic Molecules In a stunning discovery in September 2022, the Perseverance rover uncovered organic molecules near ancient water sources on Mars. While previous rovers had also detected organic matter on the Red Planet, this finding is especially significant as it was made in a location where ancient river Lake Merger had created a favourable environment for life. The site is none other than the Jezero Crater, which spans 45 kilometres in diameter and formed a delta 3.5 billion years ago. Perseverance has managed to extract the largest amount of Martian organic molecules to date from this mixture of sand, dirt and salts. Lakes The recent discovery of subsurface lakes on Mars is a significant breakthrough as it suggests the potential existence of liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life. Radar instruments on the Mars Express spacecraft detected a large underground lake in the southern polar region of the planet in 2018, alongside three smaller bodies of water nearby. The lakes span an area of over 75,000 square kilometres and are located in the Planum Australia, a large ice-covered plain. Additionally, the ExoMars orbiter revealed massive reserves of frozen or liquid water in the Vals Marinas canyons, located along the equator of the planet. This hidden canyon system could be a potential haven for life, as similar subglacial lakes on Earth contain living organisms. The high concentration of salt in the Martian water could prevent it from freezing, creating favourable conditions for life. Scientists are actively studying the composition of water in the underground lakes and searching for signs of life in dried-up surface water bodies. The planet's past suggests many different organisms could have lived in its previous water bodies. This discovery has opened up new avenues for scientific exploration and provides hope for the possibility of life beyond Earth. The exploration of these subsurface lakes and other potential sources of water will provide insight into the habitability of Mars and aid in our understanding of the evolution of the planet's climate and geological history. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching, and we may be on the brink of discovering something truly remarkable. The search for life on Mars continues, and with each new discovery, we move closer to unlocking the mysteries of the Red Planet. Martian Soundscape the mission's most revolutionary feature is its ability to broadcast the sounds of Mars to anyone on Earth. Perseverance's array of microphones has unlocked the previously unheard Martian soundscape. High level of methane The Red Planet has piqued our curiosity once again with the Curiosity rover's detection of methane. Could it be a sign of life on Mars? The scientific community is abuzz with the possibilities, but caution prevails. It could be the result of geological processes, like the interaction between water and rock. To solve the mystery, researchers are delving deeper, analysing the Martian atmosphere for clues about its past and present. Meanwhile, the potential of carbon dioxide on the planet cannot be ignored. While it's a pollutant on Earth, it could be a vital resource in terraforming Mars. These discoveries highlight the need for continued space exploration and the infinite potential for scientific discovery beyond our own world. MOXIE The MOXIE unit on the Perseverance rover has accomplished an extraordinary task by converting Martian carbon dioxide into oxygen. MOXIE, which stands for Mars Oxygen in Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, is a cutting-edge device that utilizes a unique process to diffuse atmospheric CO2 through a non-porous disk of Vitura stabilized zirconia, sandwiched between two porous electrodes to produce oxygen. On April the 20th, MOXIE produced 5 grams of oxygen, which may seem small, but is a significant milestone. It marks the first time that humans have created oxygen on another planet, opening the door to new possibilities in space exploration and colonization. MOXIE is also the first device of its kind to pave the way for future missions to live off the land and harness the resources of other planets for fuel. Creating rocket fuel requires an enormous amount of oxygen and fuel, making it impossible to carry from Earth. 
However, MOXIE's success in creating oxygen for breathing purposes provides hope for future missions to create enough oxygen for rocket propellant, using a larger descendant unit, which would only require about one metric tonne of oxygen per four astronauts. Overall, MOXIE's groundbreaking achievement is a significant step towards exploring and colonizing other planets. Its potential to create oxygen for future space missions could be vital in unlocking the secrets of our universe and furthering humanity's quest for space exploration. Ingenuity Undoubtedly, one of the most thrilling highlights of this interplanetary expedition has been NASA's remarkable achievement in successfully deploying the Ingenuity helicopter, worth a staggering $80 million. Fondly nicknamed Ginny, this tiny chopper has recently earned its place in the annals of science by accomplishing the very first powered flight on another world. And yet the mere fact that it survived the journey is nothing short of miraculous. As one NASA technician aptly put it, if Ingenuity would have crashed after the very first flight, we still would have met a couple of huge milestones. Indeed, surviving the launch, charging during the trip, making it through the entry, descent and landing, and then deploying from the rover and withstanding the frigid Martian night are all monumental feats that cannot be understated. Creating an airworthy vehicle small enough to be housed on an interplanetary rover is an astounding accomplishment, opening up endless possibilities for future missions to explore regions that are unsuitable for rovers. Even as we speak, engineers are eagerly collecting data from Ginny to inform the design of intelligent micro-drones or drones that can fly at high altitudes for various applications back on Earth. One of the most fascinating scientific observations to emerge from Ginny's mission concerns the solar panels that are mounted near its rotor blades. Engineers spent countless hours devising ways to mitigate the inevitable coating of Mars dust that would accumulate on the panels and reduce their power output. Solutions like mini windscreen wipers were considered but ultimately discarded as they added too much complexity and weight. Remarkably, during Ginny's flight, technicians noticed that its solar output actually increased by a few percentage points. Scientists now believe that this is because the airflow from the blades self-cleaned Ginny's dusty solar panels. Apparently, hygiene is just as important on Mars as it is on Earth. Ginny is also carrying a very special payload, a postage stamp sized piece of fabric that was once a part of the Wright Brothers' historic 1903 flying plane. This tribute to the pioneers of aviation remains on the Red Planet to this day, a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance that have always driven humanity to reach for the stars. NASA and Elon Musk The exploration of Mars is a topic of great interest to NASA and SpaceX. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk is closely following scientists' latest discoveries on Mars as he actively prepares for future flights to the planet. Musk promises that we will soon see the first images of astronauts on Mars in 2029, with the successful testing of Starship spacecraft's 14 Raptor engines. NASA has also chosen Starship as its first crewed landing module for the Moon, with plans to land astronauts on the lunar surface in 2025 or 2027 as part of the Artemis III mission. However, colonizing Mars will be a significant challenge for scientists, as settling on the planet is challenging. Most likely, the first crew will land near the planet's equator in the canyon with liquid water in the Vals Marineris, which will provide a vital resource for drinking, growing crops, and sustaining household needs. Oxygen will also be a critical resource, and the MOXIE project is making significant progress in solving this problem. Elon Musk plans to refuel rockets directly on Mars for the return trip to Earth by building a factory on the Red Planet to produce methane and liquid oxygen from water ice and atmospheric carbon dioxide. If microorganisms are found in the subglacial lakes, it will be a significant step forward in colonizing the planet. Local microorganisms will be perfectly adapted to the harsh conditions of Mars, and studying them will help find ways to protect against the variety of climatic dangers on the Red Planet. By 2040, NASA plans to send a manned spacecraft to Mars, with the Moon serving as a base for refueling. These advancements bring us closer than ever before to colonizing Mars, and we may soon witness humanity's first steps on the planet.